presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwad Balatinobo, has promised to fix the erosion menace ravaging Anamra State. He said he will handle the perennial challenge like he tackled the Lagos Atlantic Ocean. Ashwad Balatinobo also said he was not afraid of anyone in the presidential race. The APC leader spoke on Tuesday at Dr. Alex Ikuimesque in Orca, Anambra State, during the continuation of his campaign. He promised residents of Anambra of creating economic hub in the state when he becomes president of Nigeria. Ashwadu Tinobu said his administration will make a difference in transforming the fortune of the state. BDP. They forget the red line. They forget you are hardworking, you are brilliant, you can create furnaces, you can fabricate anything as spare part. You can turn this state to an industrial revolution state. They don't understand. We told you that Supreme Court of Nigeria has set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal Yola Division, which had on the 24th of November 2022 reinstated Senator Emmanuel Boacha as governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the forthcoming general elections that for Taraba State. I'm now being joined at this time by David Kente, who actually took the matter to the Supreme Court. Uh, Mr. Kente, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. I am curious, are you satisfied with uh, the decision of the Supreme Court? Because as it is, the APC does not have a candidate in the forthcoming election. Yeah, uh, thank you viewers. Thank you, uh, thank you for having me. Um, the judgment has uh, been delivered. Uh, as at now, our lawyers are looking at the orders of the court. Uh, if the orders are that we will still have elections, a primary election within two weeks as was expected at the lower court, we still have the opportunity to have the primary elections and fill the candidate. Um, I think that is what we are uh, looking up to. And uh, the party, our party as a national party, have also seen the judgment and I'm sure they're also working on trying to get uh, uh, the, the house in order so that they'll give us the direction as to the way forward. Oh, Mr. Kente, what really is the guarantee that the APC would uh, uh, be able to pull a string in that election considering you have less than 30 days? Yeah, APC as a party is a very strong party in Taraba. And um, I'm sure if within the next one, two weeks, we're able to sort ourselves out, I'm assuring you with the strength of the party in Taraba, we can see make it headway. I mean, we can win elections. Uh, even if we don't win the governorship election, we can actually win several other elections if we put our house in order. All right, Mr. Kinsey, you're quoted to have said this is a landmark judgment that has brought hope to the people of uh, Taraba State. Would you say this is a general feeling in the APC in Taraba State, or uh, are we likely to see disciplinary action being taken against you for anti-party activities? I must be honest with you that uh, if you are able to call your correspondence in Taraba, uh, it's celebration all over the streets of Jalingo and the 16 uh, local governments of the state which means uh, Tarabans have been yearning for this uh, opportunity, for this judgment. Uh, and therefore, if we put our house in order, like I said earlier, I assure you we can see make an impact. And for our party at the national level, our party is a law-abiding party. 
Uh, they won't say, I've, uh, I've just gone to court to, to seek for justice. I didn't go to court to humiliate the party or do anything anti-party. I went there to seek for justice because there was no primaries. And if there was no primaries, what I have asked is that there was no primaries and uh, they should prepare and have a primary election for us. I think that is all I have uh, I've asked for. I'm not sure our party, there is a very decent national party in government would... Uh, uh, succumb to those uh, rumors we are hearing, but uh, well, uh, it all depends on what the party decides. All right, then. But if you keep in mind the situation in uh, Cross River State, where you have uh, uh, the quite bomb state rather now with uh, Senator uh, Ita Enang, who was actually suspended for a move such as this you are making, uh, because this is likely to jeopardize the chances of the party in the elections. To be honest with you, uh, I think maybe the situation in uh, Akwaibo may be a bit different from Taraba. Uh, I don't know the details of what happened in Akwaibo, but in Taraba, and uh, uh, our party being a national party and the party in power, a law-abiding party, would not uh, try to victimize people or um, cause situations that would... Uh, uh, I mean, tear the party apart further. I'm not sure we, I'm, I'm very sure we can see make a headway and win elections. I think that's the, that's the, to that's end. my thinking. All right, it's a great way to end the conversation. David Kente is, uh, well, a member of the All Progressives Congress and uh, who got victory at the Supreme Court earlier today. Thank you very much for talking to us on TVC News at 7. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much too. Thank you. The Supreme Court of Nigeria has set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, Yula Division, which had on the 24th of November 2022 reinstated Senator Emmanuel Boacha as governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the forthcoming general election. The Court of Appeal in Yula had reinstated Mr. Boacha as the party's candidate in the state. Two federal high courts in Jalingo and Abuja had at various times nullified the APC governorship primary election and ordered for a fresh primary within 14 days. The decision of the appellate court reinstating the, Mr. Barcher as candidate of the APC was challenged at the Apex Court by fellow aspirant Mr. David Kente. In a judgment, a five-man panel of the Supreme Court set aside the decision of the Court of Appeal and upheld the judgment of the trial court, which had ordered for a fresh primary election. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has denied the allegation that anyone was working against the APC presidential candidate, Ashiwa Dibola Tinubu. He said President Muhammad Buhari was neither favoring nor disfavoring any presidential candidate ahead of the 25th of February election. The minister stated this after the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting in an apparent reaction to a statement by Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai. Mr. El Rufai had alleged that some element in Asurok were working against the victory of the presidential candidate of the governing All Progressives Congress.